A virus that can severely sicken young children and older adults spreading much faster and earlier this year. The rise in RSV cases is filling hospital beds across the country. According to the CDC, RSV results in around 58,000 annual hospitalizations and 100 to 300 deaths among children under five. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenani, joining us now with more on this. So how serious is RSV and what does that acronym stand for? Yeah, so I'll start with RSV is a, is a short for respiratory syncytial virus and it mostly causes mild cold-like symptoms like runny nose, coughing, fever, and a decrease in appetite. I am super familiar with this virus, Brian, because my oldest son had RSV when he was two years old. He actually developed moderate symptoms and had episodes of what's called strider. So strider is a fancy word, which means noisy, kind of high-pitched sound that happens during breathing when there's a narrowing of the upper airway. It can sound quite scary to parents and even to me, even though I know what it is. Now RSV is known to affect the lungs and smaller passageways that carry air to the lungs. If a severe infection develops, the airways can become inflamed and filled with mucus. Uh, this is called bronchiolitis. Also, the infection travels to lung sacs and pneumonia can also develop. Yeah, that all sounds pretty rough. So why is this virus spreading earlier than usual? And then what can parents do to protect their kids? Absolutely. So RSV started spreading this summer. And over the last three to four weeks, many hospitals, Brian, have reported a surge in RSV cases in kids. Now, this is unusual and worrisome. And, and RSV cases typically don't peak until winter. Now. This virus is most likely spreading earlier and faster because we no longer have any pandemic precautions, right? As for protecting our kids and vulnerable adults, this virus enters the, the body through the eyes, the nose, or mouth. So my advice is, is this, wash your hands often, right? With soap and water, we always say this. Clean and disinfect frequently used surfaces like doorknobs, handles, and bathroom countertops. Please don't share objects like cups, toys, or mobile devices, those little cell phones, because Viruses could live on some surfaces for hours. Also, cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Lastly, avoid close contact with anyone who appears to be sick. Now, most RSV infections in healthy folks go away on their own in about a week or so. But if symptoms are not improving, then it's time to see your doctor. Also, get immediate medical attention if there's any difficult breathing high fever or you see a blue color anywhere on the skin. I think you just have to be careful and be okay. All right, Dr. Nandy, grateful as always for your time and expertise. My pleasure. Fist bump with freshly clean hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doc. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.